Hello, my mint friends, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. I'm Inglorious Mint, and today we are going to get these people to be a bit smarter. Um, that's right, we're going to build some universities. So, I've decided where I'm going to put the first one, which will be in this downtown area. Now, I have just removed a cemetery from here, and we have a metro station here so that's good good location um, I may even delete these buildings oh uh, except for that building I'm gonna delete some of this path I'm gonna move that and move that so if we just budge them up this way right the park here. there we go. Um, please, please stop building. I am, I am busy. Right, and then we can put a university there. Bang! Look at that. That is glorious. It's got a little car park as well. Um, we're gonna amend our pathway that we built last time to accommodate for the fact that we've just plunked a university down. Right, there we go. Um, this path can hopefully join on. Maybe it can't. I think it has. So hopefully people can get to university for all their lectures and stuff um, quite easily. I can unzone that area. It doesn't need to be like that and probably unzone all the other area around it. Right, I think we're good to go. Um, we've got, is that person using this path? I don't think so. Okay, well we've got a university. The path is probably not going to be used ever again. Maybe we should build a connecting path. It goes from like here. On. I'm not even sure if that's going to work. We'll do that. <laughs> the most complicated path. Anyway, first university down. That's good. It means hopefully we'll get more people that can work in offices because there'll be better education. Um, whereas we've got a load of blank zoned off areas here which are meant to be offices but there aren't. Because I guess there's not enough people to be in the offices. Um, so there's just no offices. Let's zone up those areas as well. May as well make the most of all of the space we have. No office in there. Okay. Uh, and that should be good to go. So hopefully when people get smarter and can work in offices, they will move into these offices and it'll be good. Um, we can always build a bit more. We've got a little bit more room here. But yes, first university placed, thankfully. So hopefully the people around this area will start getting smarter. Um, we need to place one over here on this side of the bridge. Um, maybe this is a good spot for it, actually. Like right here. What is this? Is that that's commercial? We're gonna destroy a bit of commercial, but I think that's a good spot to put a university. Do you not agree? Let's try and destroy as little commercial as possible. There we go. There is a bus stop, big old bus stop here as well, which is just across the street from the university, which is ideal. It means people can commute to it rather simply by changing on various, various buses. All right. Oh man, listen to all that dinging going on. Jesus. Wow, I am losing a lot of money in the hole at the minute. Um, not too sure why. Uh, but, yeah, we are losing a lot of money. And also we are losing a lot of population. So that's bad. Um, obviously. Uh, 
Maybe we can get a university out this way as well. Is there somewhere I can put one? Is there somewhere good I can put one? That's the, aunt. That's the question. Here, maybe. Just plop a uni. Although I think they should be kind of exclusive to like the bigger towns and that. Perhaps. Fit one. I can't even fit one on this bit of road. It's so massive. Okay, we'll build a new section of this town, Pine Grove, um, to accommodate for the university. And we're going to have some tree lined road. We're going to build it straight out. Straight out here. Quite far. It's going to be a big old road. So it's going to fit our university on it. And also, we're going to have some, like... Um, some, like, other roads for the students and such. Right. Let's put our university down. There it is. Boom. That's pretty big. It needs um, water and power. We can hook up the water quite simply. And we're going to have water in all of this area anyway. I think there's a little gap there. There we go. And it will get power once we've got residents living around it. So let's just do that. 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 Because we want, you know, your students, they want to live near near to the university um, obviously so they can get there quite easy and stuff when they're really hungover and they're going to be late for their classes, their lectures um, maybe we're going to have like a windy road in here let's try and fill up some of the space uh, it can wind through and join up there how about that lovely Looks lovely like. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Would you not love to come to this uni and live in this nice little area? I would I, I think it is ideal. Um it's all got power now. Good. Um how about like it's got fire coverage? It doesn't have any healthcare coverage. But actually Pine Grove doesn't really have a lot of healthcare coverage. Maybe we should improve on that. Put in another clinic in. Is that has that helped? I think it might have helped. Maybe that's where we were going wrong. We're losing loads of people. They're all dying because there's no not enough clinics in Pine Grove. Put another one in. Why not? All right, we've got pretty good coverage now. That's good. Um, police, they're always going to have good coverage. They will need it at uni. Uh, with all the wild partying going on. Transport. I can probably move this. Or add... Yeah, I can move this. I'm going to move this stop to here. And then I'm going to add some stops. We'll add a stop there. Add a stop outside the uni. We'll add a stop there. And that'll be fine. Okay. Doing good. City is gaining people now. Although losing some. Actually it's it's gone back to losing many, many people. And we are still losing much, much monies. Which is not great. Uh, we've got no workers now. Now that people have got smarter. And they've realised that really everyone just wants to work in a nice 9 to 5 office job. Um, no one wants to be working hard. Putting in hard graft at the um, all of the oil plants and the, the industry area. No one wants that. Um, and it's really bad. <laughs> Things are the city is now in turmoil. Um, I don't know when we get our next upgrade as well. 
when we reach 36,000 and we get a nuclear power plant and we can buy some more land. Well, at the minute, we're at 23, just under 24,000 population. It's not looking good. It really is not looking good. Okay. I said we could build a, um, perhaps build... Why have we not got enough power now? Hold on. These things aren't getting power. Oh, god damn it. Stupid oil people. Stop moving further away. You're upsetting everyone. Jesus. Oh, and the trains aren't powered. For goodness sake, you bunch of... You bunch? You bunch of pansies. Right. Hopefully, we'll stay hooked up with power. Although somehow I doubt it. The train station will die. And the sewage plants will die. Everyone will start dying in the city. Actually, we're starting to get some back. Some growth back. Which is good. But I'm really concerned about this. I don't know how to fix it. Maybe we need to build a town for, stu for like people that are uneducated. Because there's not enough workers, clearly, for the amount of industry we have. So maybe it is time to build the little town out this way. Or here. I was going to put industry here, but maybe we could just put a town here. It might be easier. Um, and then we can have a little bridge across. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Right, let's do it. We're going to build a town. Um, so, first things first, we need access to the town. I'm going to build a train station here. And we're going to use... Man, where can we get... We can use this highway, probably, to get people in and out of the town. I can probably just put, like, a little thing. I don't really want to use this roundabout, because it might get clogged up um, and stop all the trucks using it. So, what I want to do is build some ways on and off. To be honest... People will only need to go off of here and on here. So we should be able to get away with just two ramps. Yeah. Maybe? Let me have a think about it. Okay then, guys. I have decided this is the best route option for this little town. Um, just, you know, trucks, they can carry on going. Pedestrian cars or civilian cars could just come over this and if they need to go back they can just go back Round the roundabout and then back onto the highway, but You know, they don't need to go Onto this highway and then go down here. So We'll just keep it simple have a ramp off have a ramp on and Hopefully everyone will stay happy um, And traffic will be good now. We're gonna build a little town over here Man, we're losing three grand a week. Over three grand a week. It's really bad. Um, I need to sort of fix that at some point. Right, we're going to have a little town. It's going to be a nice little town. Um, Tree-lined roads, roads and stuff. Um, we're going to have a road leading to it. I have like a main road. Maybe I could build like a main road, like a six-laner, but... There shouldn't be a lot of traffic, so we build this town. The main road is going to be like this, um, and it's going to lead into uh, this town here, and it's going to join on where the university is. So we're going to have a little bridge going over the freeway, highway, whatever you want to call it. We need to like somehow get it to cross the highway. There we go. And come down somewhere. God damn it, it's really difficult. Right there. It's gonna come down there and then 
go around. I want to have a nicer curve, so we'll have it go. this way and then it can join up here sort of go like that and then boom straight on there um, we'll remove that one little square there we don't need that we could actually build some residential around here um, which, I mean, that works for me, but we'll see. Um, so we've got this nice road. It's like a main road for this town. It's going to be nice. Um, we can stretch the town. I wanted to have a train station over there, so we'll stretch the town out. Flush it out with the main road coming all the way up here. Uh, to about here. And then end there okay and then we'll put a train station down somewhere here uh, where's the trains trains oh, we've got ferry ports to play with as well All right we can just have we can use this rural station and we'll plop it I'm not really comfortable with this train station being so close to the cargo one. I'm not sure how to connect it. Oh, and the bloody cargo one's bloody disconnected from bloody electric again. Right, pause. St oh my god! So annoying! Right, I need to connect power up to everything properly. Okay, I'm just going to run a big old power cable up, join it up there. We're going to lose some of this power cable down here because it is really, really, really pointless. Okay, I'm going to delete this power cable and then probably just join it up again, actually. There we go. Beautiful, lovely power cable. Great. Nice. Um, and we'll probably have to join it up from like here to like here because this shouldn't disappear ever because those are buildings I've placed whereas all this stuff is it can go as and when hopefully that sorts things out please sort things out yes good goody 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 gumdrops Man. Trying to figure out where to put this train station there. Okay, well. I can have it like a T junction, maybe? Like that. And then put the train station down. And we probably won't have just built bloody one way road. Is this one way road? This better not be one way road. I think it's too way road. We won't have enough room. Right. We're putting down a rural train station. And we'll just join up the rails however we can. Maybe like. God damn it. Oh, I know how I can do it. Right. Can we go up? And then we're going to go round here. And then we'll bring it back down and join it on somehow. That's not going to work either. here then down maybe making a right hash of this just 
join on. There we go. Good. And here, hopefully, we can just join this up. Nice and simply, like that. And we should have trains come in and out once we've got power and elect and uh, water. Just make this water. Bring it all the way down here. It will need to probably just join up somewhere like that. Okay, and then power. We'll just nick some power from this train station here. And bring it on in. There we go. Powered. Right, now then, we can build a bustling town around this train station. So, what we'll do, uh, we'll put in some nice roads. Uh, let's go with two lane roads. Get some, get some curves going on. We'll have a nice windy sort of commercial district up here we've got demand for commercial so I don't see why we don't meet some of the demand um, okay so I'm gonna join it up like this so this town actually for quite a small town is gonna have quite a large commercial di district um, looking at what I've built it's gonna be quite big right Probably a bit close to that junction. Okay. Join that up there. The road here. That's quite a nice size commercial district. Um, so let's get placing some basic commercial some basic bitch commercial there we go just gonna use the uh, the old fill tool to fill in most of it and then we'll put some residential down okay then guys I have put down a whole bunch of commercial in this zone uh, what we're actually gonna do as well is I'm gonna put a nice little two-way road and it's going to go um, from yeah, from here why not and join on to this road here and that way we can have trucks and stuff or you know deliveries come from the cargo terminal into whatever we call this town into this commercial district um, so the cargo can be delivered to the commercial zone and it will be good hopefully this train station works properly as well and actually gets some trains to it and from it that remains to be seen I've not seen a train there yet anyway next time I think we will continue building um, this town it's going to stretch all the way along here down here and it's just going to i'm going to try and fill out this area as best i can and then obviously if i buy this tile later on we can stretch it out even wider but it's going to be a narrow little town um for now that will just stretch in here and then maybe i can just carry on putting industry in this area fill that out so i could put some more housing and stuff in here and here maybe We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, we've got a nice bridge from the uh, from Pine Grove leading into this town. If you've got any ideas for names for this town, do let me know. Because um, I, well, I can't think of a name off the top of my head. So we'll name it if you leave a comment with a name. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, guys. Do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see some more. And leave a comment with any names for this town. Um, also, if you've got any other ideas for me, how I can get more workers into the, uh, the industrial areas. Maybe I just have to not put any schools in this town and everyone has to be, like, really, in, like, stupid. But 
we'll see. I'll, I'll do some research if I can um, and try and find out for next time. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I shall see you soon.